Why the chances of you finding a new vehicle is greater now than it was previously. What we know so far about the trial stemming from Elon Musk's tweets and how Ford is staying on track to become carbon neutral across Europe by 2035. Good morning, I'm Kristen Strakalaitis. Welcome to First Shift. More on those stories in a moment, but first, if you are in the market for a fast vehicle, you may want to consider the 2024 Corvette E-Ray. Chevy says the E-Ray will be the quickest Corvette yet, accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds. This is thanks to it being all-wheel drive with a hybrid powertrain. Its EAWD system combines a 160-horsepower electric motor over the front axle with a 495-horsepower 6.2-liter small-block V8 that powers the rear wheels. That's a combined horsepower of 655. The marketing director for Chevy Cars and Crossovers says this makes the E-Ray the, quote, Swiss Army knife of Corvettes. You can purchase the sports car later this year, and it will start at $104,295, including shipping. There is a greater chance that the new vehicle you are looking for is sitting in one of your local dealership's lots. This is because new vehicle inventories are starting to build again, and relatively quickly because of a combination of low incentives and higher interest rates that have kept potential buyers on the sidelines. According to data compiled by Cox Automotive and the Automotive News Research and Data Center, U.S. vehicle inventory rose sharply in December, topping 1.8 million for the first time since May 2021. This means dealers will be able to supply customers with the vehicle they want right away, rather than having to order or locate it. The trial looking into whether Tesla shareholders were defrauded by CEO Elon Musk's statement made on Twitter in 2018 is in full swing. Previously, Musk tweeted that funding was, quote, secured to take the EV maker private. The lawsuit seeks damages for shareholders who bought or sold Tesla stock in the days after Musk's tweets on August 7, 2018. The company's shares shot higher and then fell again after August 17, 2018, when the New York Times reported funding for the take private bid was far from secure. The shareholders have not specified the damages, but say Musk's tweets cost investors, quote, billions. We will keep you updated on the trial as it unfolds. White hat hackers are proving that personal information given to automakers might not be as secure as one may think. This is after a number of them cracked customer and back-end operations of a variety of automakers. The companies include BMW, Ferrari, Ford, Jaguar Land Rover, Mercedes-Benz, Porsche, and Rolls-Royce. One security engineer says hackers had access to detailed customer information and internal administrative functions. Ford and Mercedes-Benz say they have closed the breaches. Porsche Cars North America spokesperson says the company permanently monitors its systems. However, BMW, Ferrari, and Jaguar Land Rover have yet to respond to Automotive News' questions about the security breach. Turning to the latest on Ford, the automaker's new solar power plant in Valencia will help power its vehicle manufacturing facility there. Since the facility is using Ford's new solar power plant, it will cause a reduction in the automaker's electricity demand from the national grid. Overall, the new solar power plant will help keep Ford on target to be carbon neutral across its European facilities, logistics, and suppliers by 2035. Thanks for watching. Be sure to go to autonews.com for more news and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at first underscore shift. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.